an outdoor Christmas market in Nottingham will not reopen having been forced to shut after just 24 hours due to overcrowding, as thousands of shoppers were seen ignoring social distancing rules. Shocking pictures showed hundreds of people rammed together in Old Market Square in the center of the Tier 3 city for the first day of the Christmas markets on Saturday. And now, Organizers have revealed the market will remain shut for the rest of the year following outrage from locals over the lack of social distancing. They earlier said the closure was temporary. Events firm The Malors Group, which operates the Christmas market, said it was sorry it has not worked out. In a joint statement with Nottingham City Council, Malors Group said, plans were in place to control access to help manage the number of people entering the site at any one time and to continually monitor this throughout Saturday. However, numbers were too large to implement these effectively. It said the city centre saw significant footfall on the first Saturday since the second national lockdown in England was lifted, and that it was notably busier than anticipated. It continued, Now that we have seen how busy the city centre was overall yesterday, Saturday, we have taken the decision not to reopen the market again at all this year. We know this will be very disappointing for many local people who were looking forward to visiting and for the stall holders, many of them local, for whom this was a vital opportunity to trade in what has been an incredibly difficult year. It added, the views being expressed both for and against are very important to us and we have listened carefully. The decision to go ahead with the market was not taken lightly nor has the decision to close. We're sorry it has not worked out. Nottinghamshire police said officers were at the market all day to provide visible presence and to break up large crowds. Games designer Luke Brown, 24, from the Meadows area of Nottingham, said there were at least a couple of hundred people at the market, describing it as crazy. He said, I was on the outskirts of the market as there were so many people on the inside, many people were not wearing any masks at all and there was definitely no two-meter distancing. I was highly uncomfortable being there so we literally went home after five minutes. The city was placed in Tier 3, the toughest measures, of the new COVID-19 restrictions which came into force in England from Wednesday, after the four. Week national lockdown ended. Nottinghamshire police said officers were at the market all day to provide visible presence and to break up large crowds in the area. The market was set to run from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day until Christmas Eve. The original decision for the market to go ahead came as similar events in other cities were cancelled including in Birmingham and Manchester. It comes on what is the second non-working day since lockdown ended on December 2nd, where shoppers were out in force in the hope of snapping up Christmas deals. Shoppers in Kington, Herefordshire were pictured carrying bags of goods and waiting in queues outside Marks and Spencer. Many also wrapped up warm to hit soon, to close Debenhams and Nike stores on Oxford Street in central London. Games designer Luke Brown, 24, from the Meadows area of Nottingham, said there were at least a couple of hundred people at the market, describing it as crazy. He said, I was on the outskirts of the market as there were so many people on the inside, many people were not wearing any masks at all and there was definitely no two meter distancing. I was highly uncomfortable being there so we literally went home after five minutes. Last night hundreds of young people tried to enter Harrods, causing mayhem by gathering outside the London store and prompting for arrests after police swooped in. On the high street retailers hope today's purchases will breathe life back into a sector which has been hammered by the shutdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The lifeline for struggling stores comes after a week of high street woes as 26,500 jobs were put at risk at retailers including Sir Philip Green's Arcadia Group and Debenhams, which have been severely impacted by the pandemic. Two out of three smaller firms and self-employed workers have had to stop trading at some point in the past six months because of crisis, new research suggests. With less than three weeks until Christmas, shoppers are being urged to shop locally in a push to save small businesses from financial ruin. But despite a festive flurry on the first Saturday since the second national lockdown was lifted, retail industry figures show around a third fewer people visited English high streets compared to this time last year. Data from retail analysts Shopper Track shows footfall was down 29% year on year as many erred on the side of caution despite non essential shops being allowed to reopen from Wednesday. Andy Sumter, retail consultant at the consumer analytics firm, said retailers will be hoping pent. Up. Demand will continue through until the last Saturday before Christmas, dubbed Super Saturday, on December 19, if shops are to have any hope of a decent Christmas. While Saturday did see shopper traffic increase by 193% nationally week, on, week, 
Mr. Sumter said many are still keenly feeling the impact of lockdown. Instilling confidence in physical shopping journeys and reassuring consumers that stores are safe will be the cornerstone to ensuring shoppers keep returning, not just to support shops, but also their local communities that rely on the high street, he said. There was a drop recorded in numbers heading to London's West End, home to one of the world's most popular shopping destinations. The new West End Company, which represents 600 businesses in London's shopping district, said its saw footfall declined by 37 percent year, on, year. A spokesman said, safety is our top priority, and since lockdown has lifted we have been regularly refreshing protective measures, such as hygiene hubs and clear street markings to promote social distancing. Shopper numbers plummeted last month with a reintroduction of tighter coronavirus restrictions, with data from Trade Association the British Retail Consortium and Shopper Track showing footfall for November. Across the UK dived by 65.4 percent compared with the same month last year. Insurance providers simply business. Estimated two out of three smaller firms and self-employed workers have had to stop trading at some point in the past six months due to the crisis. It found COVID. 19 could cost small businesses up to £69 billion, while a separate study by American Express suggested that almost half of non-essential independent retailers believed their survival depended on sales in the run-up to Christmas. As Britons headed to the shops, data from travel firm TomTom Tom showed that congestion levels in all of England's major cities were higher than this time last week. The shopping scenes come after thousands of drinkers headed out last night to bars in Soho, London.